Finally, we have arrived to the Schrodinger equation and uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about it. So basically quantum mechanics is based on the Schrodinger equation. As you see, the Schrodinger equation, this is time dependent Schrodinger equation in one dimension, this is the X dimension. Our job in these lectures is to try to solve this equation for different potential functions. So we're gonna try to take different potential functions and try to solve it. Uh, for, the f for the next few lectures, we're gonna assume some potential functions based on like physical phenomena, and then we're gonna try to solve this equation. But before that, you see this time part of this equation? Let's try to solve this right now, and once we solve it, we are done with it. Once and for all, we can solve it and be done with it. This is a partial differential equation, as, as we all know, the first weapon of attack is separation of variables. So we're gonna try to separate the variables inside this psi function. Remember, the psi function is a function of x and t. And when I say separation of variables, I mean I try, I'm gonna try to separate the variable x and the variable t. By assuming the solution to be just psi of x, so this is big psi, this is small psi, times some, some function of t that we don't know. If I assume this is the solution that satisfies the, the equation above, I should be able to take the time derivative of the psi function. By doing this, I get psi back times the time derivative of my x function and if I take two derivatives of x with respect to psi I mean two derivatives of psi with respect to x I get this just, just the x derivative times f back because f is only a function of t so when we take a partial derivative uh, this f of t is, is constant so plugging these two back into the equation we have i h bar psi df dt equals minus h bar square divide by 2m second derivative of psi with respect to x times f plus some potential function v times psi f and now if we divide both both sides by psi f So divide both sides by f we have i h bar 1 over f df dt equals minus h bar squared divided by 2m 1 over psi second derivative of psi with respect to x plus some potential function v sometimes i'm gonna write v sometimes i'm gonna write v of x i'm gonna oscillate between the two so what this means this means that both of these equal to each other right so we can set each one of these equal to a constant so i can set this the left hand side equal to some constant it can be any constant one over f df dt We're gonna give it a letter E. After manipulating this equation, we simplifying it, we're gonna get df dt, just one derivative, equals um, minus i h bar, sorry, no, this is minus i 
times times e divided by h bar and, and the function itself so this this uh, this is equal to e and the second part of the equation the right hand side we can set it equal minus h bar divided by 2m 1 over psi the second derivative of psi with respect to x plus the potential function v also equals to e because e is equal to e and the right hand side is equal to the left hand side so let's manipulate this equation to put it in a nice form so we have minus h bar squared divided by 2m times the second derivative of psi with respect to x this is psi, it's just the psi of x, t is not there anymore plus v of x equals e times psi so this my friends here is the time independent Schrodinger equation this is the equation we're gonna be looking at for different values of v at this point we can't solve this equation because we don't know what v is unless until I give you v you can not solve this equation but the good news is we can solve the other equation the, the equation from before uh, this equation over here this equation over here all right so let's go ahead and do that Add new layer. so this equation let's write it here df dt equals minus i e divided by h bar f Here we go. So let's try to go ahead and solve this equation. So one time derivative equal a constant times the function itself back. So we can assume a solution f of t equals some constant c times i e divided by h bar. So if we try this, if we plug it back, so take one time derivative of this, we get uh, c times i divided by h, e to the same thing, oh, this is times t. Equals, let's see if it equals that. Uh, minus i divided by h bar let's see here also forgot how to take derivatives times e this is this e here times the function itself which is c times e to the minus i e t divided by h bar there you have it it's um, it's this solution satisfy this equation so this is a good solution, we're going to take it. For the moment, if you remember, we assumed the big psi, psi of x and t, is equal to small psi of x times some, fu some function of t. Well, we know what this function of t is this guy. So, psi of x is equal uh, times uh, the f the, this function, the time function, minus i e t divided by h bar and because this psi is a function so we can just put this constant inside this psi function and not worry about it so once and for all we solve the time dependent Schrodinger equation and it is the solution for the time dependent is this exponential function so now for 
from now on, we only get a look at the time independent Schrodinger equation, and which is this one here. This is one dimension time independent Schrodinger equation plus V psi equals E psi. Let's clean things up a little bit. Let's uh, let's factor out a psi from here. So if I factor out a psi, I'm left with minus h bar squared divided by 2m. The second derivative with respect to x plus v. Let's give this a letter. There's a unique letter for it. It's h. h psi equals e psi where h is the Hamiltonian and this is the the most basic form of time independent Schrodinger equation and uh, and there you have it this is what we're gonna be working on from now on when I say what we're gonna be working on we're gonna be testing this equation trying to solve it trying to find these e values because e is the solution remember we're gonna try to find these e values for different potential functions. So we're gonna try when v is zero, and then we're gonna try when v is like a constant. We're gonna try when v is infinity. We're gonna try when v is a harmonic oscillator. We're gonna try when v is a Coulomb force. We're gonna try for different v's, and we're gonna try to solve this boxed equation.